In this video presentation, we will discuss about the Rinder pest. Now Rinder pest is, history. The second, viral disease, eradicated from the world. First was smallpox. In the event, the disease were to reappear, and in order to not forget the threat of Rinder pest virus, OIE ensured the Rinder pest knowledge, in veterinary education curriculum. This infection was the deadliest viral disease affecting the cattle livestock farming. In this part 1 lecture on Rinder pest, we will have an introduction about the infection, host range, viral morphology, genomic organization, antigenic property, and virus replication. The picture showing the massive death of cattle, due to Rinder pest infection. These animal deaths led to severe economic losses. Famine. Poverty. Which is indirectly responsible for countless cattle farmers' death. These are some of the important historical events in the milestones of Rinder pest eradication. First recorded outbreak was 376 AD in Europe. In 1924. Creation of the OIE to coordinate the control of Rinder pest and other animal diseases. In 1927, first breakthrough in the Rinder pest vaccine development. Edward developed goat adapted vaccine against Rinder pest at IVRI. In 1954, National Rinder Pest Eradication Program was launched in India in which systematic mass vaccination of cattle and buffalo was introduced. In 1966, India introduced tissue culture cobate, O, virus vaccine, which was the vaccine used for rinder pest eradication. In 1992, Global Rinder Pest Eradication Program was launched by FAO. The main objective of this global program was to eliminate rinder pest from the world by the year 2010. 1995, the last report of rinder pest in India was recorded at North Arcot. Tamil Nadu. Worldwide. In 2001, last reported outbreak of Rinder pest in one buffalo in Kenya. In 2006, OIE recognized India is free from Rinder pest infection. In 2011, OIE declared Rinder pest is eradicated from the world. Now Rinder pest is a history. What is next? Now we are at the post eradication phase. We are maintaining a global freedom from Rinder pest infection. In this era, the virus is no longer amongst live animals. So, vaccination is now prohibited. This virus stocks, vaccines and biological samples are still present in around 20 laboratories across the world, mainly for the production of vaccines in the event the disease were to reappear, due to an accident or an act of bioterrorism. In order to not forget the threat of Rinder pest virus, OIE has developed a new Rinder pest vigilance campaign, to ensure the Rinder pest knowledge in veterinary education curriculum. Then sero surveillance of the livestock. This is the Rinder Pest Eradication Memorial Pillar, laid in 2011, at IVRI, Mooth Teshwar, India. Rinder Pest. The other names for this infection are, Cattle Plague, Contagious Bovine Typhus, and Step Murin. The word, Rind, derived from the German language, means, cow. In German language, Rinder, is occupational surname, which means, cattle farmer. Classification. Paramyxoviridae family, classified under the Baltimore Group 5, with the order mononegaviral. This Rinder pest virus along with other viral diseases like canine distemper and PPR are classified under the genus Morbillivirus, of family Paramyxoviridae. This disease is caused by the genus Morbillivirus, and the species Rinder pest Morbillivirus. This viral disease is a highly contagious, acute viral disease, characterized by fever, oral erosions, diarrhea lymphoid necrosis, and high mortality, in domesticated and wild even toad ungulates, like cattle, buffaloes, yak, sheep, goat, pig, warthog, wildebeest, camel, giraffe, eland, kudu, antelope, and deer. Death rates during outbreaks were usually extremely high, approaching 100%. Sheep and goats can be infected, but rarely show clinical signs. This infection was once common and highly prevalent in Africa, Indian subcontinent and Middle East. This infection was never reported in the United States. Virus Morphology This virus possesses helical capsid, and also covered with lipid envelope all around. The entire virus is about 150 to 300 nanometer diameter. This lipid envelope is studded with two important proteins namely, the hemagglutinin, and fusion protein. These two proteins are the immunodominant proteins, which play a major role in the antigenicity, that is virus neutralizing antigens. Genomic organization. The genome is monopartite, single stranded, and negative sense RNA. The genome length is 15 kilo base pair length. The viral genome encodes proteins namely, nucleoprotein, phosphoprotein, matrix protein, 
fusion protein, hemagglutinin, and polymerase enzyme. The diagnostic tests mainly targets for nucleoprotein, that is N-gene for identifying the viral antigen. As we already discussed, two important proteins, the hemagglutinin and the fusion protein, are the immunodominant proteins, which play a major role in the antigenicity, that is virus neutralizing antigens. These proteins binds to the host cell receptors, and causing the infection, and the pathogenesis of this virus. Antigenic property among the viruses under the family Paramyxoviridae. The genus Morbillivirus, possess two proteins, fusion protein and hemagglutinin, but lacks the neuraminidase. So, the rinderpest virus, which is under the genus Morbillivirus, possess this two proteins. The three viruses under the genus Morbillivirus, canine distemper virus, rinderpest virus, and measles virus, has a common antigenic property. That is, all the three virus posses hemagglutin and antigen. Next, similarly all three virus posses fusion antigens which shares cross-protectivity. And last, none of three virus possess neuraminidase protein. So, these three viruses sharing a common antigenic property is termed as viral triad. Or medipest. So, if the dogs consume rinderpest virus infected meat, it can seroconvert and become resistant to canine distemper virus infection. This is called cross-protection, due to antigenic similarities between two viruses. There were three rinderpest virus genetic lineages existed. The lineage 1, and the lineage 2, from Africa. And the lineage 3, from Asia. These are the rinderpest virus vaccine strains. Nakumara strain, Edwards strain, Cobate, O, strain, and Plow right strain. Virus replication. This virus enters the host by fusing the viral envelope with the host cell membrane. During fusion, the viral proteins like hemagglutinin, and fusion proteins may get integrated to the host membrane. Following entry, the virus replicates in the cytoplasm. Here, the genome is negative sense RNA. So, they cannot translate, or be infectious on its own. So first they must transcribe, to the positive sense RNA, by using virus encoded transcriptase enzyme, that is, RNA-dependent RNA polymerase. Then, this transcribed positive sense RNA, which are similar to mRNA, can be translated to viral proteins. On the other side, the negative sense viral RNA are transcribed for complementary strand, for the transcription of negative sense viral RNA. Later, this transcribed negative sense viral RNA, and the translated viral proteins, self-assembles to form virion. Following assembly, Virion released through budding from the host membrane. In the process of budding from the host membrane, the virion acquires their lipid envelope around. Physical inactivation. This virus get inactivated at the temperature of 56 degrees Celsius, for 5 minutes, or, at the temperature of 60 degrees Celsius, for 3.5 minutes. This viruses are also sensitive at the pH less than 4. This virus does not survive well outside the environment, as it is susceptible to sunlight, drying and ultraviolet radiation. Chemical inactivation. The rinderpest virus is inactivated by the disinfectants like phenol, cresol, beta-propiolactone, sodium hydroxide and lipid solvents. With this we are coming to the end of part 1 lecture on rinderpest. In next video presentation we will discuss on the pathogenesis, diagnosis, prevention and control measures of rinderpest infection in detail. Hope the lecture is informative and useful. Thank you.